I'm about to show you how to fix crashes and stutter in Battlefield Red Sack. The game just released and there are proven methods like updating your BIOS or fixing your XMP profile because for whatever reason actually having an XMP profile on your RAM can cause Battlefield to crash as well as all the other methods which are gonna prevent this. I would also highly recommend you to afterwards watch my ultimate optimization guide where I show you how to apply the most elite in-game settings for maximum visibility as well as the best Nvidia profile inspector settings for maximum FPS. So therefore check that one out afterwards. But you know what's just as important as having high FPS, having really low ping, and this is where GR Booster comes in clutch. GR Booster is your number one gaming service when it comes down to reducing your ping. With the top link in my video description, you can by the way try it out for absolutely free guys, and even pros like Zen are using it. It's gonna help you to find the best DNS servers in your near to make sure to get the least amount of latency in all your favorite games, no matter if you're playing Fortnite, CS2, Valorant, or the wide variety of games which GR actually supports. Not only does it help you to reduce your ping, but also give you better stability in games, so if you sometimes have random like spikes or you have connection issues, GRB is gonna help you to counter that. So therefore, try out GRB Booster for absolutely free as mentioned with the top link in my video description. And for one of the first methods on how to actually fix your red sack from crashing is to go into your normal settings, go into graphics and then we can see advanced. Click onto it and in here now we have the frame rate limiter. And what many people have been actually reporting to me and I've even had the same experience on another PC with a different GPU that if you actually limit your frame rate, your game is not gonna crash, guys. And I know this sounds a little bit weird, but actually random, let's say like spikes where your GPU clock speed goes up a little bit higher because maybe you have like different terrain that could actually cause the in-game crash. And what I'm now gonna do is for the frame rate limit actually, since I'm playing on 240 hertz, it only lets me go to 240. I'm gonna go down to something like 200. And this actually fixed it for many people as well reporting under my last video where I showed how to fix Battlefield 6 from crashing. And therefore, this is a valid option guys. You can definitely try this one out. Just limit your FPS basically in-game. So in the beginning now, we're gonna talk about something more system specific because there's actually been an issue right now with Battlefield 6 for whatever reason I don't know there's not much about it online but if you let's say run RAM as an example now with a pretty high megahertz rate mine usually goes to 7200 as speed your Battlefield just crashes randomly as soon as I put it on 6000 it's completely fine it has nothing to do with stability I'm running a really good motherboard on this PC with an Intel Core i9 in combination there should be no reason for this to crash at 7200 megahertz and the cast latency which is as well advertised on the packaging itself. There should be no stability issues whatsoever, but if I don't actually put this to 6000, it's just gonna crash. I have no clue what this is. There's been some people on the internet actually talking about this and I actually just wanna give you this as an extra option. If you have been exactly like me, completely clueless what could have caused it, I tried it out and as soon as I actually lowered my megahertz to only 6000 instead of 7200, it was completely fine working out of nowhere. So all you gotta do is enter your BIOS Go under the tweaker option and then you can see your XMP profile. For everyone this is gonna look a little bit different so therefore I'm sorry that you kinda have to google this on your own. I don't have every single manufacturer as a mainboard right now on par. So therefore yeah, what you gotta do is disable your XMP profile and actually manually apply another profile with 6000 megahertz. This is just the extra info which I wanna give you guys if you've been struggling with this and you have no more clue what to do, it could be your memory. Now in the next step what we're gonna do is actually update our BIOS because for many people, especially on newer Intel Core i7, i9 CPUs and even i5s from the 12th, 13th and 14th gen, this might be the main cause. So therefore press Windows key plus R and type in there MS Info 32 until you can see this whole entire window now with every single spec in your PC. And as you can see, currently for my system model, I'm running a Z790 Gaming X AX mainboard. So what we're gonna do with this info is Google our current mainboard and put BIOS behind it. Then you can see the official mainboard uh, website, which is for me Gigabyte. I'm going to click onto it. And then you can see from here on now BIOS, which should be here. And it's gonna look a little bit different, really depending on which manufacturer you guys are using. For me, it's gonna be this one, F14 here from Gigabyte from September 2025, which is pretty up to date. And all you gotta need is a USB stick or even a hard drive or anything which you can use to actually transfer data. On this USB stick is actually still a Windows installation, but it doesn't matter. It just has to have some storage on it. And then in the actual file which we downloaded, the largest file, which is most of the time exactly called as your main board, is gonna be the actual file which we need and we just simply have to put it onto the USB stick nothing else from this whole entire folder we can close this and now restart our PC and go into the BIOS so and for that you just simply have to restart your PC and spam F12 on your keyboard until you can see now here the setup then you're gonna click under enter setup which should then actually allow you to go into the actual BIOS and now in here guys you're gonna find something which is gonna be called Q flash 
It really depends if you're on easy mode. Most of the biases nowadays have an easy mode and advanced mode. You can still find this very easy. If I'm using the easy mode, it's just gonna be right now here under quick access, Q flash. It's always gonna be called Q flash. Or if you're on advanced, it's gonna be here in the corner actually. Just simply click onto it. And then you can see it now, your current BIOS. For me, it's from the 18th of September, 25. This is my BIOS. And what you gotta do now is click here now under BIOS update, just simply click on the USB stick. And then you can see the actual file which we put onto the USB stick, which is the Z790 Gaming XAX file. And then you just simply have to continue now with this small arrow here. And it's gonna ask you, are you sure you wanna update your BIOS? We're gonna click on the yes. And it's verifying the files. And this is now your new BIOS. As you can see, this is my current one. This is the new one. So it's still very up to date. It's the same one. So I'm actually not going to click under press start because I already got the latest version. It would make sense. But this is how you do it and can fix the crashes for you already. Now the next step which could fix your red sack from crashing could already be if you're in the official EA launcher or even the Steam overlay. All you got to do is click on options, go into application and make sure that when you see in our notifications, you can see usually these here are checked for in-game, you know, like invasion, like game invitations, friend log on, friend request and all of them. So what you actually want to do is completely turn off the in-game overlay guys. I know it will tell you, do you really want to turn it off guys? But this can actually bug sort of out and actually cause stutter and crashes for Battlefield. So therefore what you want to do is actually turn it off completely as well as the Steam overlay if you guys are maybe playing on Steam instead of the EA application. This is just another quick fix which has been already proven for many people actually to fix this completely and I have many people reporting this under my latest Battlefield 6 crash video. And then for the last option, we're actually going to open up the official NVIDIA application. Link to it is going to be in the video description. And as you can see, guys, there's actually a new driver available at the moment, which just released on October 14th. And as you guys know, especially Battlefield is working very well together with NVIDIA. So therefore, we can be very sure that this latest version here now with 702 Mbit actually has huge improvements for Battlefield 6 as well as their Battle Royale mode. So therefore, what you want to do is go into drivers and always make sure that you have the latest game ready drivers guys you don't want to use experimental drivers or studio drivers just straight up the new geforce game ready drivers so all you got to do now once you downloaded the latest version is click on the install click on the yes then go under custom installation and make sure to go under clean installation and then all you got to do is click on the continue and let it completely install afterwards you should be good to go and of course guys, as the most important part, it's also very important that you are using the right Battlefield 6 settings. Those basically determine for the most part how much your Battlefield is actually going to stutter because not having optimal settings is of course also going to cause having low FPS and all of that. So therefore I made a whole entire dedicated guide where I show you the best settings, not only for Battlefield 6, but especially Red Sag, which is the new Battle Royale as mentioned. So therefore you can check it out afterwards guys. I also have these two videos right on your own screen where I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to fully optimize your Windows PC even more for better performance. So therefore make sure to check it out and also don't forget to subscribe guys.